Hi everyone, today I want to show you some of the new changes and exciting features that I added in cPanel 1.6. You can read the whole changes file if you're interested uh, to see what's what's changed since the since the 1.5. There's a lot of changes, but I want to focus on some of the uh, very exciting ones. There's only a few of them. Uh, first one is to be uh, the ability to specify a specific version uh, that you want to search for with the art version and tilde version range. Um, when you specify, when you run cpanm command without any version specification or anything like that, uh, it will just fetch the latest version of the module from cpan, and it's a stable version by default. So in this case of the plug, it will install 1.0.16. And if you want to install a previous version of the module, you used to be have to you used to have to do this like cpanm. Uh, with the pass name like like this, um, but but not anymore. Uh, you can you can now now say uh, plaque at one point or one five, and it will automatically figure out what's the what's the version that you want against the uh, meta cpan query. So the distribution that contains the module with that exact version that you specify will be retrieved and installed uh, using the command. Uh, it will just work with the uh, old archives that is on the back panel as well. So in the case of a plaque, it has uh, 0.9930, uh, which is not on CPM mirrors anymore because of the file size and stuff. Uh, but it will automatically figure out, oh, hey, this this version is on the back panel. So get the, the distribution from the back panel and install that version uh, instead of getting from the CPM mirrors, uh, which is really cool. Um, and Prac has this latest trial uh, developer release on CPAN and if you want to install the, this version uh, you used to have to type the whole whole version number like uh, like this but but not anymore you can you can say a dash dash dev and plaque and and CPANM will search for Meta CPAN to find the latest release that is includes the developer release, uh, which is in this case 1.0.17 trial uh, instead of 16. Uh, the dash dash dev is just a flag uh, to include developer release to search for. So if if you give a module mod name that doesn't have any Developer release, they will just get the get the latest stable release. Um, the next one is is pretty close to the add notation, but you can use the tilde notation to specify the version range. So, for example, plaque tilde with like larger than 1.0, smaller than 2.0. It will just search for the latest version that matches with the range that you specify. Uh, in this case, the plaque's latest version is 1.0.16. Once plaque hits like 2.0, this query will still fetch the latest version of 1.x that matches the requirements. Uh, and you can you can actually say use like equals equals sign to pinpoint the specific release, but you just notice that this is exactly the same as you can do with the, the add command. And indeed it is. Uh, add command is just a shortcut for uh, tilde with equal sign. This is exactly the same thing. The version requirements is pretty powerful. So you can say a plaque uh, larger than 1.0 but not include uh, 1.0.16. For example, uh, if the latest version of the module is known to be broken, uh, you should be able to just do this. And that query will exclude that specific version that you specify and get that from uh, from the latest one that doesn't uh, match with the, the version that you excluded. So in this case you get the 1.0.15 instead of uh, 16. It's quite powerful. Um, these these commands, you're usually not going to run this command from the command line usually, but if you run cpnm command from the build tools like cotton well, from the build shell scripts and things like that, this is a really powerful feature for sysadmins. Okay, uh, the final 
feature that I want to introduce is to be able to install from the Git repository. Uh, let's say there's a, a per module on GitHub that is not on CPAN yet, or uh, some of the modules on CPAN that is known to be broken that you want to patch. Uh, you're gonna make a fork on the GitHub and send a pull request, but until the pull request gets merged, you want to install from your Git repository instead of uh, CPAN version. What you're gonna do is just to speed the Git repository URL uh, to cpanm command and cpanm 1.6 will just clone the repository and install the module from there just like normal. Uh, in this case 0.01 from the master branch will be installed. So it, by default it will install from the master branch but you can, if you want to install from the debel branch for example uh, you can say at debel um, and it, that will fetch the clone repository in the same way, but check out that debel branch before running the install command, and you can see that it install the the newer version in this branch. Uh, you can do the same thing with the tags, as well as the uh, commit sha1 uh, to do that. So, for example, you can say at fdc 12 b uh, to sp specify the specific commit sha1 to install from. That's it for today. Um, there's a lot of changes that I haven't introduced uh, in this screencast and, and I hope you enjoy Zipan M1.6. Thanks for watching.